Catherine Rollins. I need to talk to you actually. You're on my list of people to message today. We need to have a chit chat about my eyebrows are. I wonder why. People have been saying that lately. I did have the hairs on my eyebrows dyed, but I think it's that I'm losing weight in my face, honestly. And so now my eyebrows are like, I don't know, I've also been doing the thermo lift on my face, which is kind of like lifting all the things. So, I don't know, it is what it is. But extra potent eyebrows are always good, I feel. Nothing wrong with that. No, nothing wrong with the eyebrows being extra potent. This is how Jack tells Sean he loves him. He goes like this. <laughs> he doesn't like to say the words, so he does this. He says, this means I love you. Um, I'm not sure. It may be the thermal lift. The thermal lift is what's up, yo. Oh my gosh, Beth, hi. I feel like you haven't been on a live stream in a minute. Let's share this to our page. My video editor is like, you haven't been doing very many live streams lately. And, uh, I was like, yeah, it's because I'm pissed off at Facebook for all the censorship, so I'm just not providing any content that can be censored. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Um, but yeah, I've been, and I'm like totally neglecting my business page, but I mean, listen, like, I don't know. I'm over being censored. I'm taking this show on the road over to YouTube. I'm going to start doing a new segment every Wednesday called Wealth Sermon Wednesdays. Um, I was doing Wealth Sermon Sundays here on Facebook, but I'm going to take it over to YouTube on Wednesdays. Um, we'll be starting next week, Wealth Sermon Wednesdays, over on the YouTube. So if you have not followed me over on YouTube, go to youtube.com forward slash Leah Steele and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the exclusive content that's going to be happening over there in YouTube land. Hey, Becky. So I, judgment is a bitch, you guys. And I literally like was laughing because as I'm writing this like topic, which was, will you lead or will you just keep hanging back judging the people who are, I was laughing because I was like, uh, yeah, here's like my walking hypocrisy, right? Because this is literally like this live stream is literally me judging the people who I'm judging as judging the leaders, <laughs> but it is what it is. And I am judging them. I am judging them because I'm seeing it happen all the time. But judgment is a bitch. And, you know, I like to pride myself on having a low level of judgment. But everybody judges. I'm definitely super judgmental of those asshats that ride the bikes all around Bali with no mufflers on them. I judge the shit out of those people. Um, <laughs> everyone judges. Everyone is judgmental. It's like human nature to judge people. And, you know, it is what it is. I think that all we can do is really try to... I'm okay with being a hypocrite. Not, I'm fully okay with being a hypocrite and not being a hypocrite. I have no problem with it. I'm good. I'm good being a hypocrite. I'm good, good not being a hypocrite. Um... You know, I think all we can do is try our best to keep it in check, right? Keep the judgment in check. Um, but the thing that I'm seeing lately that's just 
you know, that I think is just a bunch of bullshit is that there's all these people in the online space that are throwing judgments out about the people that are actually out there, like putting themselves out there and putting themselves on the line and leading their communities. And I think it's like the biggest crock of shit because I'm like, if you have time to sit around and make po judgmental posts about hypocrite, right? Because I'm literally doing it right now. I'm doing a live stream about it. But I'm like, if you have the time to sit around making posts about, and they're usually passive aggressive posts, by the way, like not calling the person out or not naming the person directly. But if you have time to sit around and create passive aggressive posts about how someone is doing something in a way that you don't like or that you have a judgment about, like I call fucking bullshit on that. Because if you were putting as much energy into, I wonder if my Wi-Fi's on, let me just your phone today, it's probably you, I already know, because I was on a call with you earlier where you were having issues. Um, but if you were putting half as much time into your business and actually leading your community as you were to like calling other people out or like going on their pages and complaining about the shit that they're talking about and they're posting about, oh my God. So this is the thing where I'm just like, are you gonna actually lead your fucking community or are you just gonna sit around passing judgment on others that are actually out there leading their communities? And I know why it's happening. It's happening because people are fucking terrified. People are so afraid of stepping into a leadership role because it's not easy. It's hard, you know, having to, having to lead a community, you know, you don't, you, you get into the online space and you know, you want to be a coach or you want to make an impact or you want to help people, you want to be a healer and you start building this community and you know, as the community gets bigger, you start feeling a little bit more responsibility. And then the next thing you know, it, the next thing you know, you've got a community that's tens of thousands of people and it's like we don't really ever consider the responsibility that comes with leadership of a community like that. And a lot of people don't take it seriously. But then when they start to get faced with it, like as their community starts to grow and they start to get faced with that responsibility and they start to get faced with like they do actually have to show up as a leader in their communities it's a lot easier to sit back and judge what other people are doing instead of actually fucking stepping into that leadership role. Instead of actually like putting your big girl or big boy panties on and being like, no, like this is my role. And stuff will show up to force you and push you into that role. Um, you know, it seems like for me every six months or so, I like a situation or a scenario shows up in my life or in my business that almost forces me to step more into leadership of my community. Whether it's, you know, someone in my community being attacked or it's, um, you know, some kind of subject matter or topic that needs to be talked about or it's copyright and trademark infringement, like whatever it is, right? It's like, it, sorry, my hair's falling down, it's bugging. Um, we're given the opportunities to step up. We're given the opportunities to lead. And so I see so many people given those opportunities that choose instead to continue to play small and sit back and talk about what others are or are not doing or how they would be doing it differently. Well, guess what? If you'd be doing it differently, go fucking do it differently. Like don't sit back in your safety zone, in the comfort of your judgment zone and be pointing fingers telling other people how they could do it better. If you think you can do it better or if you have so much judgment about how people are doing it wrong, go fucking do it better. Go out there and lead your own community. Go, go show up and do the things that you are passing judgment that others should not or should be doing. And that is, for me, like that's what I want to see people doing and that's what I believe people are being called to do right now and it's scary it is scary um you know I this retreat that's happening in Bali 
next week. I can't believe it's already coming next week. But it's about a lot of things. Um, it's about the reascension and it's about remembering the things that have been forgotten and the things that have been lost. But it's a, it really, really is about will you step into the role you're being called to step into and lead in 2020? Will you actually accept the calling that you are being given and will you actually show up and lead? Or will you continue to find a thousand and one excuses for why today isn't the right time, you've got something going on with your physical health, you're not in the right frame of mind, you're tired, you're sad, you're having issues in your family, your mother is bashing you all over the internet. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> your, you know, we can excuse our way out of everything. And I see it happening across the board right now. Well, here's the thing, it's happening because all of this stuff is showing up to slow you down. All of this stuff is showing up to weed you out. Um, and it's up to you, like, are you going to show up or are you going to, I literally did a, a class called Your Excuses Are Bullshit. <laughs> Maybe we need to relaunch that right now. <laughs> are you going to show up or are you going to continue to allow your excuses to keep you playing small? Um, it's safe. It's safe inside the judgment zone. It's safe inside the the place that we create where we get to sit back and look at everybody else and be like, I could be doing that so much better. I could be doing that so much better. I could do that so much better. They should do this that way. They should do that that way. But the truth is, if you can identify and you can see something that needs to be done differently, it's because you're fucking meant to do it differently. And you can sit and judge people over it and you can sit in the safety zone or you can actually accept the calling and go out and lead. What I will tell you is, is that the leaders of 2020, like this next phase, this, this next group of leaders that are stepping out, that are stepping out of the fray right now and into the spotlight, like these people, like 2020 is no fucking joke. Like you're not going to be able to just continue to, to slide along with one toe in, um, or like, oh, I'm going to get in now, but then I'm going to hurry and hop out. You cannot be half in and half out. You're either here with a message and a calling and meant to lead, or you're not. And if you're not, the sooner you accept that, the better off all of us who are meant to do that are going to be, um, and then you can sit back in the judgment zone and judge us all you want, right? Like you, you can do that. It's not gonna affect us. We don't actually really care. Like those of us that are out leading and leading our communities, we don't actually fucking care that you're sitting back judging us talking about what we are or are not doing right. Um, because we're too busy leading to give any fucks about what you think about what we're doing. But I, I come on this live stream and I say this because I know how easy it is to let your excuses stop you from doing the work that you're meant to do in the world. And the time for that is just over. It's just over. And if, if right now you're feeling like your excuses are getting the better of you, then it's probably best for you to bow out now. And I'm just being honest about that. Like people are feeling like triggered and upset by, by me saying this over the last few months. But like, I really feel this way because we are, and I keep saying this and I really believe it's true. We really are only as strong as our weakest link. And those of us that are here to lead in 2020, like we don't need any fucking weak links. We just don't. I don't want to have to pull and drag you along to change this planet and to affect change on this planet. I just don't. I want people standing beside me, not behind me, who are all pioneering in their field, out sharing their unique message and their unique gifts with the world. 
and they're not having to be dragged along. Now, sure, are we all gonna need encouragement at times? Yes, are we all gonna need pep talks at times? Yes, apparently Jason Cesaros is here to give the pep talk. I just saw him pop on. I will need some more. <laughs> gonna smack some leader ass. Okay, well, Jason's here with the dominatrix the dom, not the dominatrix, we have the dominatrix here as well. The dom, we have the dom leader and we have the dominatrix leader both here on the live stream. So we're all good. Yeah, look, and if you need a little Leah foot and ass, go watch Your Excuses Are Bullshit. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's time to fucking like shit or get off the pot. Like really, like, are you going to step up? Are you going to, <laughs> oh my God. are you going to step up? Oh, have we missed the, have we missed the Jason trolling lately? I feel like we have. Here he is back in full effect. Um, Things are shifting and people are awakening and people are realizing that things do not have to continue to be the way that they are on this planet. Um, I was really interested, it was really interesting to me the other day, there was this article on sex trafficking in America that was circulating um, on Facebook and I saw probably like... 15 or 20 people post it either in groups a lot of people were not were posting it in groups because I think they were too afraid to post it like on their wall but it was talking about that it was talking about sex trafficking in America and like I just sit here and go like you know the article was from a couple of months ago was the first thing it was from a couple of months ago it wasn't a new article and it just blows my mind that people aren't seeing this shit happening or haven't been seeing this shit happening but I'm glad that more people are waking up to it like I'm, I'm happy that more people are like oh my god this is so atrocious but I'm like where have you been like or have you literally been under a fucking rock especially because it's so many leaders in this community like in this community that are just like now having their eyes open but again like I really do believe that the foundation that all of this um, cloaking and programming has been built upon is crumbling. So now we're starting to see, like people are starting to be able to see, like the cloaking is, is going away and now we're like, oh my God, yeah, like sex trafficking exists in every single town in America. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> it's just, it's crazy to me that, that it's just crazy to me that people are just seeing this, I guess. And I'm grateful for it. But this upcoming year is going to be such a huge shift. Like, one, because I actually do see the leaders stepping up that aren't going to take, like, they aren't going to allow all of this programming and conditioning and cloaking to continue to occur. Um, and people are getting brazen enough in their messaging and, and you know, like Jason's a perfect, perfect example of this. It's like people are getting brazen enough in their messaging. They're getting bold enough in their messaging and they don't fucking care. They don't care what people think of them. They give no fucks about whether or not people like them. I posted something on my page the other day, which is like the divine actually doesn't care if you like the message and it doesn't, the divine doesn't really care if you like me either. Like, that's not the fucking point. The point is that the message is the message. You don't have to like it. It just is what it is. Like, you don't have to like the fact that there's sex trafficking happening in every fucking town in America, but it is what it is. Like, and the message needs to be shared and that information needs to get out there. People need to be aware of it because we don't change if we're not aware. But this is the part where I say, like, these, like, bitch ass, pussy ass little leaders. And don't get your panties all in a bunch because I called them pussy ass. You know what I mean? All the feminists, like you can come on here and like have a freak out on me if you want. 
I'm also a feminist, but I think it's okay to say that somebody's being bitch ass and pussy ass. All the bitch ass, pussy ass leaders out there that won't fully stand in their message, like that are giving diluted, watered down fucking messages. Like I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it and I'm not here for them any longer. Like I'm over it. I'm so sick of seeing watered down messages online. Like you're literally, like I feel like if you're getting, if you're getting a message that you need to share and then you're sitting there letting your ego try to figure out how to like pat it and make it more gentle for the masses. Like you're actually doing more harm than good. You're actually like hurting people by trying to like pussyfoot around an issue or like handle people with kid gloves. Like people don't need to be fucking handled with kid gloves anymore. They need to be fucking punched in the face with this shit. And that's just it. Like that is what it is. Like we need to be brutally honest. We need to stop padding things. We need to stop trying to put our ego spin on things. We need to stop like going gentle into that good night or whatever the fuck it is. Like I'm over it and I'm not here for it anymore. I want the leaders that aren't afraid to go out and share the fucking message as it's coming through. And if the message is scaring you and the message is terrifying you and you are, you are shaking in your fucking boots about sharing the message, it's exactly the message that needs to be shared. It's exactly the message that needs to be put out there into the world. I just like, I, you know, it's like, I can see through that shit so easy. Um, am I trying to, no, I'm trying to tell people to start being cunts, start being more cunty. That is the, that is actually what this live stream should be called. Be more cunty in your messaging. I would change the topic of the live stream, but I'm afraid it would get censored. I don't think Mark Zuckerberg likes the word cunty. Anywho, be more cunty in your messaging. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's the whole purpose of this live stream. No, I just, I can see through that shit a mile away. And so it's like, I just get sick to my stomach. It's part of the reason why I'm just like, I can't even be on Facebook that much anymore because I scroll through message after message after message that's just like, I really want to say this, but I'm afraid to. So I'm going to say this instead. Like it's so fucking transparent, you guys. And instead of just fucking saying the thing that I was meant to be saying, instead of just like saying the thing that like I got the message and I know what the message is and I'm going to go out there and fucking say the message. Instead of that, we're like putting like glitter and sparkles and fucking stickers on it. And then trying to like, make it sugary sweet enough to feed it to the masses because we think that's all they can hear. Like we're so worried about our fucking engagement and the algorithms and, you know, building the audience and doing everything perfectly aligned online so that we can get the message out there that it, we're doing all of those things and worrying about all of those things and like trying to make it a message for the masses instead of a message for the fucking people that it's meant to reach. And look, Mallory, your message can have fucking glitter and stickers, but the truth of the matter is, is that there's a lot of people out there with a lot of real shit to say, and they're fucking sugarcoating it. They're sugarcoating it because they think that it won't be well received, or they think they won't be well received, or they think they won't be able to monetize it, or whatever. Like, they're being fucking whiny little bitches is what's happening. I think I've been hanging out with Jack too much. But that's honestly how I feel. Like, look, like this is just it. This is how I feel. And I'm cracking up because I literally um, fed this live stream into the reascension um, revelations group. And they're probably just like, oh my God, she's taught like all she's saying, all she's doing is fucking swearing, calling people little bitches. But look, I mean, it is what it is. And I'm just fucking over it. So if all you can do is sit and sugarcoat the messages that you're being sent to share with the people, then you should bow out now. You should literally just get out, get out of the game, go do something else, go fucking run a candy factory or something. I don't know, but stop getting in the way and diluting the space for the people that actually have the real fucking messages that need to get out there and reach the masses. You know, it's like if there wasn't so much fucking dilution, 
on in the online space and there wasn't so much there weren't so many people getting sucked into working with people that are really delivering like fucking half-assed programs because they're afraid to deliver the real message then the coaches and the leaders and the healers and the people that are actually here for it, they're, they're here to fucking do the actual work, would be reaching those people. So you going in half-assed, every time you fucking sell a program that you are fully, that you are not fully all in on, every time you fucking put an offer out into the world that you're not fully all in on, every time you put, you sell a product or you take somebody's money, and you're not fully energetically backing that and it is not exactly what the divine was sending through you, every time you do that, you are literally creating destruction on this planet. You are literally detracting people from the people that they're actually meant to be working with. So if you're one of those coaches or you're one of those healers or you're one of those leaders that won't fucking fully show up, then stop fucking showing up. Like stop because you are the reason why the reawakening is taking so fucking long. You are the reason why people aren't realizing that there's sex trafficking happening in every town in America. You are the reason why all of this corruption and all of this bullshit and all of this programming has been able to hold on for so long. You are, you literally are contributing to the slavery consciousness of this planet. So like, I just, I'm not here for it anymore. And that's my fucking judgment about those people, pure and simple. Like, are you going to lead? Are you going to actually go out and do the work that you're meant to do in the world? And are you gonna stop fucking sugarcoating it? And are you going to actually deliver the message that you're meant to deliver? Are you going to actually do the healing work that you're meant to do? Are you actually going to go affect change on the planet that you're meant to affect? Or are you gonna continue with one foot in and one foot out? Because you're not helping, you're hurting. You're hurting people by doing that. So if you're ready to do the thing and lead in 2020 and you wanna know exactly what the fuck your divine mission is, what you're here to be doing, what the offers are that you're meant to be putting out into the world and where in the world you're meant to be like delivering those offers, then get your ass to Bali next week and come join me at the Reascension Retreat because that's what I'm here for. And that's what's happening at that retreat. That is where we are going. It's like, what is the message? What are you here to share? What is your divine gift? What is the change that you are meant to be affecting on this planet? Because I am tired of, I don't know. Like, that's the biggest bullshit excuse ever. Well, I don't know. I'm not really clear. I don't have clarity. So I'm going to keep fucking throwing spaghetti at walls, trying to make something stick. Well, again, your fucking spaghetti that you're throwing at the wall, even though it's sticking, you, you are detracting people from the people that they should be getting the real message from. I need a January or July retreat. There will be an Ouroboros retreat next year. That's happening happening next year or Boris retreats. Um, so here's the other thing. I am doing an online access ticket for the reascension retreat. Um, we're doing an online access for um, some of the leadership content and we're doing uh, online access for um, the divine union, Christ consciousness and mother and father dragon line activation. So if you know that you want online access to the retreat, or you want more information on it, then drop me a praying hands, can I get an amen emoji below. You can give me the hands, the amen hands, or you can give me the praying hands below, and we will get you the information on online access for the retreat. Because again, you can keep making excuses like you can't get to Bali, you can't get here next week, which is fucking bullshit because anybody can do anything. Like if you felt you were meant to be here, if you really felt called to be here, you would fucking be here. Like that, it would be so easy. You would just be like, all right, yep, I'm doing it and I'm going and I'm meant to be there. And if you can't do that, then put the fucking emoji and make the online shit happen, right? That's it. 
I'm kind of ranty today. I didn't realize I was going to be so ranty. I wasn't so ranty when I first got on. I was just like coming on to do a little bit of content and a live stream. I, I wasn't, I didn't think I was going to be so ranty pants telling people to be more cunty in their messaging. <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing now, right? It totally is. Um, yeah, exactly, Beth. Like, you would have sold more Spiral and made it happen. You would have done this and made it happen. You would have, like, and this is the thing. It's like, right now, here's the opportunity. Here's the opportunity to stop, stop it now, right? Like, stop the bitch ass messaging now and start the cunty messaging. Like, right now, right now, make the decision. Are you going to be all in? Are you going to fucking lead your community? Are you going to deliver the gifts and the message that the divine has, has given you to deliver? Are you going to do that? Or are you going to continue to contribute to the destruction of the planet by being half in on your fucking message? So that's the question you have to ask yourself. What are you going to do? Ashley, you've totally been being cunty lately and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Fully proud of you, totally been watching, totally been watching you show up in all your cuntiness. It's great. I appreciate it. So, um, if you want to know more about how to show up more cunty in your business, you can come join us in the mastermind, my high end, my high level mastermind. <laughs> Message me for more information on that. Oh my God. I love you all. Um, we'll see how many views this live stream gets. I should actually like put in the description the one where I told people to be more cunty in their messaging. Oh my God, so good. I, apparently we're just getting yelly in the mastermind. Apparently we just want to yell at everyone in the mastermind. So if you want to learn how to yell at your community online, <laughs> come join us in the mastermind. Oh my God. All right, well, in jest and equally not in jest, equally serious as a fucking heart attack. Um, what you, what's it gonna be? What are you gonna do? I feel like I should read some of the comments. People really don't like the word cunt or cunty either, so I know that that's gonna trigger the fuck out of people as they come and watch this live stream. But guess what? Guess how many fucks I give? Guess, guess how many? Yeah, sugar is why their teeth are rotten and waistline fat. Exactly. Oh my God, I wish somebody would send me a DM that ended sending you love and light. That would just be, that would be perfect. I think people are too scared to do that. They know, they know, and they know, they know. There are armies of souls waiting to follow you. There are armies of souls waiting to follow you if you actually show up and share the real message. Because listen, all the people, I have one more thing to say apparently, all the people, that diluted message that you're putting out there into the world, you're not even actually fucking attracting your clients. Like you're not attracting the people that are meant to hear your message because the message is fucking diluted. Like you're not actually even helping the people that you're meant to help because the message is diluted. And I guarantee you, you don't have the number of clients that you would have if you actually just started sharing the real message. Okay, I think we're really done now. I just wanted to... Hey, Amy. No more sugarcoating anything. Good. Plus I'm Italian and I lie naturally. Okay. All right, that's it. 
that's all I've got for you guys today. I'm gonna go get some lunch now. And work on the retreat. So I didn't see very many, I didn't see very many praying hands and preaching hands for information on the uh, online access. It's because all of you guys are scared. You're scared I'm gonna yell at you again? Well, guess what? I probably am. So deal with it. Or don't. Or get out of the game. Please, please get out of the game if you're not ready and willing to deal with it. Beth, I think that they can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. Yes? No. All right, that's it. I'm I'm getting off. I'm getting off of my my ranty soapbox and um I'm gonna go actually do the work and share the message. So that's it. I love you all. Farewell.